Hey everybody, welcome back to the farm. Today I'm going to try to show you a little bit of our kitchen remodel where we had it flooded. We're working on the countertops. We're doing something totally different. This is old rough board with a bunch of the knots and the bark and pieces missing. We're going to put a liquid glass and epoxy top on it. And as you can see, from this way we burn it. Come along and check it out. We're going to burn a little bit of this on video for you. So you can see it change. Alright, what we burn it with is just a normal propane torch. We use map gas, but we're out. Hope you can see it changing in the... And the longer the slower you go the darker it'll get so if you want me to i would go fast to start with until you see how it looks and then if you want it darker to slow down and we're trying to burn it down in these cracks pretty good like in there As you've just seen us doing that, we've got the, we actually put screws in here to hold it down. I think that's going to look good. And we didn't want to do a normal 45 on each piece out here and make a straight line, so we like step them. Right, right here on the corner, you can see this live edge where the bark was at. That goes up into the corner there on both sides. And when we pour this liquid glass, there was a channel there it was going to run out of. So I made a little jig up and sealed it down and went ahead and poured some epoxy in that hole. Let's get this jig off and move on to the next step. Alright, we've got the jig off of it. I don't know if you can see, but there's a live edge here and a live edge here. And right here was a, where that live edge continued back as we stacked the boards in. And that would have been a low spot for when you pour this epoxy liquid glass for it to run off. All of it's going to probably run over the edge, but that would have never settled level without putting that little pour in there just wanted to show you now that we got the jig and stuff off all right what we're doing last night is we went ahead and poured a light coat on it like a sealer coat to get down into cracks now we've got it taped up around the backsplash and as you can see here, we've just got cards, anything, where the end of these grooves, <clears throat> excuse me, where these grooves are to stop it from just free flowing out. So come along and let's mix some stuff up and get it done. And also, pouring that 
thin coat to start with. It just helps seal it to try to control how many air bubbles continue coming up in it. You mix your come in two separate jugs. One's going to be your hardener, and they mix one to one. So we're going to mix a small batch to do the backsplash and stuff with. And you need to stir this stuff a long time, feels like forever. And stir it slow to try to keep from incorporating too many air bubbles. But the air, bu the air bubbles are pretty easy to get out with the torch. You'll see that in a minute. You should start to see lines come in it. Or, yeah, there you go. And you just have to continue stirring for like up to seven minutes, five to seven minutes. It'll get hazy looking, then it'll go back to crystal clear. Well, that's been about five, seven minutes of stirring. As you can see, it's back clear. And you just want to stir it slow. You can see air bubbles that's already in there, but they'll come out. You'll see that step in a few minutes. Putting a little bit on our backsplash. Letting it run down. I think it's going to look good when we get her finished up. It's tedious putting it back here on this backsplash for her. We're just putting it on the top and kind of letting it run down, let gravity do the work. I'm trying to show y'all we're taking some bubbles out. Right in the middle of the screen, you'll see bubbles. There you go. Just going away. See right at that knot? There you go. It's hard to show this on the camera. Alrighty, well y'all got to see us burning some of it, pouring it, popping the air bubbles in it. I think that's going to probably do it for this video. I'll probably do an update video here after we get it finished up. Everything is looking good, nice and shiny and level. 
there's that little plug that I showed y'all I made a jig for to pour in there now as you can see it's one smooth transition the product we used is glaze coat you can pick it up at Home Depot or Lowe's I think you can even get it on eBay and Amazon Appreciate y'all watching. Subscribe, ring the bell where you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.